Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This is Leah's Life and today we're going to be doing the military spouse tag so you guys can get to know a little bit more about my affiliation with the military and I'm going to just answer the questions and you guys can have a little bit more insight so I'm not going to talk too long just stay tuned for the video. Alright guys, just to give you a little bit more insight on this video, my husband is a member of the United States Navy, as you can see from this lovely flag behind me. So, you know, I'm just going to be answering some basic questions. I'm back at it again with the paper because I write everything down. Like, there's nothing I don't write. If I don't write, I'm not going to remember. But I'm just going to answer, like, some basic questions for you guys so you guys can get to know a little bit more about where we're stationed, what our experience has been like, what my experience has been like, and just a little bit more about us as a couple. And if you guys do see me squinting, I'm not wearing my glasses because of the reflection. I'm trying to see, you know, what, what, what the videos would be like if I don't have that glare in my glasses. The first question is, how did you and your spouse meet? So we actually met through our moms. They were friends before like they even introduced us. And then when they did introduce us, I actually met him in his kitchen. So the first time we ever saw each other, we were in his kitchen. How old were you two when you two met? I was 16 and he was 18. So there's a two year age difference between us. Third question is, how long have you been together? So when I answer this question, I usually say it's five years, but I count how long we've been together from like the first time we started dating, but we've officially been together. This April is gonna be three years. Okay, next question is where are you and your spouse originally from? We are both originally from Jamaica, and you guys heard me talk about that in my last video. How did you feel about him joining the military? Oh lord. Here we go. Okay, so I actually hated the idea of him joining. I was... I read a lot, so I'm the reader in the relationship. I read up, I read up all the information, got all the details, and I was just scared. Like, I didn't know what... You know, I didn't know what to expect even after reading all about it. You know, you read about deployments, you read about underways, you know, you know, the wars going on and everything. And it's, it's just scary, but I knew it was something that he wanted to do. So I was just like, okay, I'll, I'll get over it, even though I'm still not over it, but more on that later. Number six, where did your spouse go to basic training? He went to basic training at Great Lakes, Illinois. Number seven, has your spouse been deployed? He has been deployed. Um, we weren't married for his deployment, but he has been deployed when we were together. Number eight, ever been to his promotion ceremony? So I have never been to a promotion ceremony. I was actually at work and I could not get the day off. So I wasn't able to go, but if you count like his graduation, then yeah, I was at his graduation. How long have you been a military wife? I've been a military wife for two years. Number 10 is, did you marry him before or after he joined the military? I married him after he joined. Number 11 is, how did your husband propose? So he actually proposed to me in like at our friend's house, but it was right by his Christmas tree and it was just so beautiful. We were we were alone in the moment and it was just really nice and it meant a lot to me because Christmas is like one of my favorite times of the year. Where did you get married? We got married in Waynesboro, Virginia. Number 13 is how old were you two when you got married? I was 19 and he was 21. Number 14 says, did he wear his uniform on his wedding day? So, yes he did. He didn't want to, but you know, we convinced him to because it was easier than renting or getting a tux. So I got him to wear his uniform on our wedding day. Yeah. Damn good too. 
Where are you and your spouse currently stationed? We are currently stationed in Norfolk, Virginia. And number 16 is, do you live on base? We do not live on base. We chose to rent outside because it was more financially efficient, I guess. So we save more money renting outside, like in an apartment or a house, than we would if we lived on base. Number 17 says, how long were you married when you had to go through your first separation? So I don't remember exactly like how many months, but I know it was definitely, we were married for less than a year before we had to get separated. Number 18 says, what is your favorite base so far? My favorite base would definitely have to be Norfolk because it's the only one I know. Number 19, y'all. It says, do you think your spouse looks good in his uniform? Y'all. Oh. oh, Lord. Of course he looks good in his uniform. That man is fine in his uniform, okay? I mean, he always fine, but he fine in his uniform, okay? Okay. <laughs> Number 20 is, do you think military life is more advanced than civilian life? I don't think I would say it's more advanced. I would say it's a little bit more tedious. It takes up a lot more of your time, depending on your job in the military. But I don't think it's more advanced. It's just, it's just a lot more hard work. You have a lot more laying on your shoulders. You literally have your country's safety resting on your shoulders. Even though you're just like one person in the military, it's your all family. It's like a whole military family and you guys have the burden of your country sitting on your shoulders, literally. Question 21 says, do you like the benefits you receive as a military dependent? I do like the benefits I receive, but I try not to fit the stereotype of being a dependa. You know, those wives, sad to say, that use their husband's rank for everything and they expect that they should be given everything because, oh yeah, I'm a military spouse. Like, no, I don't believe that. So if, for example, you know, there's a military discount somewhere, and they'd be like, oh, are you military? I'd be like, no, but I'm a military spouse, does that count? And they'd be like, oh yeah, sure. But I'm not gonna go somewhere and be like, oh, do you have a military discount? Do you have this? Do you? I'm like, no, cause if you ask me, sure, but if not, it's gonna be like, okay, I'm just a regular person. I'm gonna go about my day as a regular person. Number 22 says, do you have a lot of military wife friends? I can, I probably have like a handful of them. I don't get out much. And it's hard to make friends with other military wives because people leave so often. So you'll make a friend and then just be like, oh, I'm changing duty stations. And like, wow, we just became friends. 23 says, what is the hardest part of the military life? So the hardest part for me is definitely being separated and not like me living somewhere and him living somewhere else it's just like those underways that they have to go on those deployments um it's hard <laughs> i'm really about to try thinking about it but so it's hard not having this person there not like not having my husband there Cause you're so used to them all sleeping beside you, you coming home to them. But I mean, it gets easier over time. It definitely does, but it's still hard. It still sucks. So yeah, that's definitely the hardest part. Yeah, fully got me crying. All right, 24 says, do you own military wife stuff? Um, no. I have one jacket that says Navy on it. I don't like walking around showing off like, oh, Navy wife. No, no, I don't like it. And last but not least, 25 is, do you support your spouse as a member of the military? I 100% support him in anything that he has to do. I'm going to be right behind him. I'm going to support him always and forever praying for him and just being there, you know, 
they work so hard so imagine coming home to somebody that's not supportive so yeah I'm a hundred percent there for him in anything that he needs I'm always gonna be supporting him he always knows that he has me as a shoulder to lean on when shit goes down at work basically all right so that is it for this video if you guys have any more questions about you know me being a military spouse if there's any like personal stuff you want me to answer or any just other questions in general you can definitely leave those in the comment section I will definitely do a video about those if you want me to and then if there's anything else like any other videos that you want to see me do just let me know I'm really open to doing more videos and stuff talking about lives in the military and that is gonna be all for today I hope you guys enjoy this video remember to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to share this video with all your friends with that said who ya Navy